Let's talk about subscription tackle boxes. Let's talk about you and me. Let's talk about all the good things and the bad things that, that they be. Let's talk about subscription tackle boxes. Well, I'm not happy about making this video, but I felt that I needed to help others in this case. You know, I recently uh, canceled my subscription tackle box with Monster Bass uh, for many different reasons. None that I'm going to get to in this video right now. If you want me to make a video about that, I will. Just comment below. But really, this is about making sure you don't get in the same trouble that I do with one other company. I think that uh, I I should state right off the off the top. Uh, in the past, I've done videos from this tackle company. They sent me two or three boxes. I thought they did a good job. When I canceled with Monster Bass, I said that I was going to put my money into another subscription box that would be worth showing you, getting the content, and uh, having getting the tackle from it. And that tackle box was Rush Tackle. And I'm very, very, very disappointed in what transpired since subscribing to their 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 tackle box. So, last month, like I said, I was my final month with Rush Ta with a uh, Miss Monster Bass, and I was going to take the thirty-five dollars and put it into another one. So I went right to Rush Tackle because I'd been with them. Uh, like I said, they they sent me a couple boxes, and they were pretty decent. I was really contemplating, do I go with Rush Tackle Box or do I go with uh, the Major League Fishing Champions Club? And in my mind, I thought the Champions Club was the better the better deal. I actually think the Champions Club is probably third or fourth best out there right now. Uh, but I thought Rush Tackle Box could be a hidden gem. So on, uh, on the 18th of, I guess that's August... Or no, that would be the 18th of September. I went out and purchased Rush Tackle Box. It's $29.99. Uh, and they say they ship within one day. Now they're in Canada, so I can understand if they have some, some issues. But they said they'll send out my first box right away. And then every month they'll, they'll charge me that $29.99. So about October 9th, I started to get a little bit worried. I hadn't received my first box, and I knew within the next month I would be charged another $30, $29.99. So on the 9th, I called the 1-888 number, the 888-202-8413, and got a voicemail and said, look, I hadn't received the box. I have a person in there that I know it would be really great if you guys could contact me back. Because where's the box? I mean, it was supposed to be sent... It's been almost 25 days, 20, 25 days, and I haven't received anything and got nothing. And the next day on the 10th, I called again and left another voicemail. On the 11th, I called from the 11th through the 18th, I called one time in the morning and one time in the evening. At that point in time, I also sent an email to support at rushtacklebox.com because that's where you're supposed to send it if you do, if you have a problem. Now, of course, no correspondence from them whatsoever. I mean, zero. Zero. I sent the person that I knew at Rush Tackle Box an email saying, hey, look, could you look into this for me? I don't want to have to, I don't want to have to make this video. I mean, I have much better things to do than to sit here, talk to a camera, and then edit this afterwards. I've got a lot of work to do. But nothing. I then emailed them on the 18th again. And said, "Hey, dude, guys, what's going on, man? You're gonna, you're about to charge me." It was at that time that I thought I hadn't received a phone call back, and I think I, I put in roughly 22 to 24 phone calls, several emails, and that's when I thought I need to get the banking, my banking involved. So I called Bank of America, spent 90 minutes on the phone talking to them, showing them receipts and all the other stuff that I that I'd done and that I hadn't received, and that I was scared that they were going to charge me again. So what they did was they went back in 
and said we can we're going to give you a refund but we have to do our due diligence and make sure that it isn't something that you're lying about i guess so they uh said it'd be two or three days two or three days later i got my 29.99 but it was at that point in time on the 18th of this month they tried to bill me on the 18th they tried to bill me on the 20th they tried to bill me on the 23rd and take money out of my bank account. Luckily, Bank of America has some uh, precautions where you can go in and call them, and then if you have an issue, they will not. I, Rush Tackle Box cannot take any money out of my account unless I give authorization. And this is where this whole thing comes in. It's it's there's a few bad apples in this in the subscription tackle box. There really is. Um, this is the second person that's done this to me personally. The first one you can check out. I'll put a link right up here or over here for the other video that tells you about the other one that just it just sucks. And I'm, I'm disappointed and I'm, I'm, I'm really disappointed that Rush Tackle Box did this to me. So that's why I am doing this video. If you're looking to do a subscription Tackle Box, you need to do your due diligence. I'm not a big fan of Monster Bass, but I will give them credit where credit is due. They have an unbelievable customer service. So does Florida Tackle Club. Mystery Tackle Box does too, and so does Champions Club from Major League Fishing. Those four people always do what they say they're going to do. Now, how do they compare in box-wise? You can go look at other ones. If you're going to buy a subscription Tackle Box, look into these people. Look into the companies. Check out their Better Business Bureau a rating, and that will give you a good influence. Go to their Facebook page and read what other people are saying, because on Rush Tackle Box, they haven't, had a, they haven't put up a post this year and I can tell you the last post that they put up has eight or 10 or 12 people complaining about getting ripped off. And you don't want that, and I don't want that, and you don't deserve it, and either do I. So here's what I suggest. Don't deal with Rush Tackle Box. Just don't. They have a video of me on their homepage. I, I wish they would take it down. I want nothing to do with that organization. They suck. So my phone is ringing, you can hear it vibrating. Here's what I need you to do. I appreciate y'all hitting that subscribe button and that like button too. Thank you for doing that. Also, take a kid fishing. Get your fish on. We'll see you guys soon. Cheers. Hit like and subscribe. Take your own kids fishing.